How you living? What? How you living? What? How you living? In living color. Sip on a drink, glad with the guide on a phone, she sings. There comes another one of those funky, funny, more money shows. A cast for laughs, for talent to pros and sisters with twisters. For you, the looking listener, it seems you don't believe, so you believe what I can bitch you. So put it to your short and thought, we'll make it snappy. With jokes and folks and folks to keep you happy. No need to hold your remote control. Chill, this show's got soul. All aboard, all aboard. The train up a chuckle, you better snuggle up, couple up, want a double up, double, yeah. It's hard to believe, but some of the best things in life are free. So fellas, grab your girl, tell her that you love her, cause that's the way you're living when you're living and living in color. <laughs> I say we waste them all right now. 237 people trapped by international terrorists. They had no hope. That is until... Jack A is passenger 227. All right, you make one move and I'll blow your head up. Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, oh look, I broke a nail. Anybody got a knee press on? Where's Mary? Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm Sergeant, airline security. <laughs> now, what's a good-looking service like you doing hijacking a blade like this? Uh, uh. Airline security? What is this, some kind of a joke or something? No, it's your worst nightmare. But if you play your cards right, it might be your dream come true. So <laughs> oh, I get off at eight. I have an idea. I'll keep them covered. You go down and defuel the plane, and then when it's low enough, jump out of the baggage compartment, run to the control tower, and tell them what's going on here. Uh -huh. Then you can come back and save the day. Are you crazy? You've been watching too many Wesley Snipes movies. <laughs> Who? You know what? You're tall, dark, and... Ooh, never mind. You just make yourself useful to get somebody a pillow or something. <laughs> We have your now funny sitcom woman. Uh, now, look what you did. Now that she was on the other foot, Miss Airline Security. Hello? It's the control tower. Now it's time to meet my demands. I want a hundred thousand dollars cash. I want a passports. And I, uh, Hold on a second. There's another call coming through. Hello? It's for you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hey, Mary. It's me. Oh. No, I didn't teach your daughter to do that thing with her tongue. I think Rose did. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but I'll ask him anyway. Bye, Mary. Now, uh, would you be interested in uh, having dinner? I have no time for you, lady. Oh, how dare you. Ooh, in that case. <laughs> oh, uh, look over there. Coming this fall from Fox, Jack A is Passenger 227. I'm Kathy Williams for Fox News here at the White House. We're talking with Milt Kellerman, President Clinton's lead economic advisor. Tell me, Mr. Kellerman, what is the main focus of the committee going to be during this next fiscal year? Well, Kathy, things aren't going to be as simple as they seem at first. There are a lot of factors to be taken into account. Whenever you're going to try to balance the budget, there are several ways to do it. <clears throat> now, we're going to have to concentrate on the approaches that will best suit the American people without compromising the current financial security. Well, tell me, uh, will there be large cuts in Medicaid and Social Security? Well, now, that's a very complicated question. Although there will have to be some substantial cuts in government-aided programs, there will also be tax breaks for the economy. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be easy. There are sacrifices that need to be made. But if we all pull together, I truly believe we can bring this to a conclusion that's amenable to all parties. Your critics say that these are the exact same policies that have failed in the past. How would you respond to that? 
Well, now, I've addressed this point over and over again. The issue is not what has failed in the past, but what will work in the future. You know, we want to stop worrying about what is behind us and look ahead. Last week, the Dow plummeted 80 points. Mm. Are you concerned with the current volatile state of the stock market? Well, now, what we're seeing is a short-term event. The stock market is traditionally influenced by world events. Recent troubles in the Middle East, the decline of the Deutsche Mark. You're bound to see some temporary instability. What sort of a timetable are we looking at here? Well, these things can't be rushed. You must be patient. Let the current recession run its course. And then we will be ready to tackle this problem with total equanimity. In closing, Mr. Kellerman, can this plan work? Can this council make a difference? <laughs> well, let me just say this. We know that there are people out there who are hurting. I can stand up here all day and say, things are going to get better. But see, that's not going to help that man in Trenton, New Jersey, who just lost his job. We'll put our best minds to the task and then run it up the flagpole and see if it's wearing panties. Thank you, Mr. Kellerman. We certainly wish you luck with that. This is Kathy Williams reporting from the White House. Welcome to the Dysfunctional Home Show. Now here's your host, Grandpa Jack McGee. Hi. How's it going? It's good to have you back again. <laughs> Guess what? It's my little girl's wedding day. And I'm going to show you how you can throw a dysfunctional wedding in the privacy of your own home. Because you got to learn how sometimes. Now, it's customary for the father... <laughs> for the father to make peace with the groom. Hey, Tyrell! Come here, Tyrell! Come here, son. Where are you, son? Hey, 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 man, don't be calling my name all that loud. I got police looking for me, man. What you Hey, cool it, Jazz. I know the gang, son. <laughs> And son, I just want you to know that I love you. I think you're a hell of a guy, and I hope you have lots of luck with my beautiful, innocent daughter. You black bastard. Hey, 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 what? Oh. Kill you, I'll kill him! I'll kill him! <laughs> oh, you want to fight, huh? Yeah? You all want to fight? Come on. <laughs> Places, everyone. Uh, we're ready to get started. Yeah. Where's the music? Hey, don't you worry about that, Father. I got it under control. And a one and a two. Ain't that one, you tired old piece of cow? She a vision of loveliness. Daddy's precious little Buddha. This is the happiest day of my entire life. <laughs> of my entire life. <laughs> groom have elected to write their own vows. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Tyrell, I think you're great. Um, and I promise to stop chewing loud and making you mad. And I promise not to sleep with any more of your friends. <laughs> Except when you tell me to. <laughs> Tyrell? Oh, yeah. Uh, yo, look, just don't be pissing me off, all right? And so, uh, by the power vested in me, Ow! 
That's what I was Ow, my water broke! Oh, my <laughs> She's always breaking something. I power vested in me, and I now pronounce you man and wife. You may now deliver the baby. Come on, baby, please, because I gotta get some swap me. Come on. Ow! <laughs> Wait a minute. My baby is white. What is my baby doing white? Huh? <laughs> Functional Home Show with Grandpa Jack. is in order for tonight's performance. Oh, 10 cities in eight days. Girl, I am tired. I can't wait to go home. Yeah, this tour is taking a lot out of me. I mean, the fans are great and everything, but it could really get crazy out there. Mm. Thank God we're up here in the penthouse. I know it. Dawn, why don't you open the window and get a breeze going in here? That's a good Come idea. <clears throat> came to the window, I was drawing a crowd and stuff. They was looking all up at my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they probably thought you were Queen Kong. Wait a minute. Wanda? Girl, yes, it's me in the flush. You know this thing? Excuse uh, me, it's Miss Thing to you. Not only do I know them, but we all started out together. Because I used to be that Corey or Griffiny. You know, when I was, I was getting all that, you know, getting all that dance stuff together. How you doing, girl? You look good. Uh, listen, Wombat, Wolverine, whoever you are, you better do something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check him. Wanda's not lying. She really did used to be a part of this group. See there? See there? You don't even know. See, because, no, because, see, we started out, you know, hold on to your love. See, we started out. I wrote that, because it used to be called, it used to be called, hold on to your hot, sweaty monkey love. <laughs> Why y'all been dissing me, though? Because, you know, when y'all was leaving to go to Philly, you know, on the bus, I was trying to catch up with y'all. Y'all was in the street. Y'all almost ran over me. <laughs> Wonder that was you? That sure enough was. It was his fault. Yeah, he told us that he almost ran over this, this coyote in a big blue dress. He's so crazy. It was a red dress. <laughs> but, Wanda... I thought you went solo. Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. I, I've been singing down, you know, at Billy's Barbecue and Check Cashing Place. <laughs> no, really, no, my career is really jumping off. I sung the national anthem at Sloss and Swami. Everybody was crying around. So I'm like, go Wanda, go Wanda. It's your birthday, it's your birthday. Go on, you know, so. Wanda, if you're doing so well, what you want with us? Oh, well, you know, I got to get paid. I need some of that Ferrari, Maserati, Porsche money. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Are you saying you want to sing with us? Oh, I didn't think y'all was going to ask me that quick. Check this out. I was just thinking we could be like the Jackson. You know, I could be like Michael, you know. Yeah, more like Bubbles. <laughs> Wait a minute. First of all, why you got so many words and all this stuff for me? What's wrong with you? Yo, look, come on, lady. I don't care who you are. You got to let go. Hey, man, <laughs> You don't be putting your hands on me. You ain't my mama. Okay, man. Well, you know things got well, to be. Well, who's paying? Who? Ow! 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 
Are uh, you out? Who is oh, David? I am. Oh. You better get on and get on up out of here. That's Wanda. Yeah, girl. And you know, I, I got to talk to y'all now. I don't mean to be hurting nobody's feelings, but I just had to say, you know, just cause y'all living good and y'all hair is, is, is fine and stuff, and y'all y'all get to eat all good foods like scrimps and stuff. <laughs> and y'all been riding in Mercury Dieses and BMWs and all that other kind of stuff. That don't mean nothing. Y'all just like, y'all ain't no better than I am. Cause y'all put y'all drawers on one day at a time just like I do. For real. Now, wait a minute, Wanda. That is where you're wrong. You don't put your drawers on one day at a time? Y'all nasty. That's why they call y'all funky divas. Now, look. Don't you be giving us none of your attitude What, what you want to do, like, oh, skinny? Well, let's go. Okay, okay I'm not going to let you go. Well, not oh, dirty oh, oh, dirty oh, 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 dirty oh, oh, dirty oh, Come on, come on. No, 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 no. What you want to do, Cindy? Cindy, Cindy. Wait, wait, uh-huh. Ladies, calm down. She don't know nothing about me. Now, Wanda. Our careers did not come easy. Okay, we worked hard for everything we have. Right, honey, we paid our dues. Well, I know y'all didn't get it on y'all good looks, because that's why y'all kicked me out the group, because y'all was mad and stuff, because I was taking all y'all men. Because <laughs> I'm something to look at. Look, we've got our own thing. You ain't a part of it. And I'm just, I'm sorry. Hey, look, all I'm just trying to say, I ain't trying to get all in y'all stuff. I'm just saying, why don't we just sing, you know, some songs like we used to up in Oak Town, you know? Oak Town, like we used to do it. Can't we just do it one more time? Well, Do it to me one more time? Yeah, just one song. Ooh, ooh, girl, I got my dress on, too. <laughs> over in the back like y'all used to no, make me No, yeah. Ooh, no. Yes. No, you can stay right there. Oh, sure. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll, I'll start the tune off. Uh, okay. Let me get my tune. Ooh, let me get my note. Let me get my note. Ooh, okay. Ooh, <coughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my throat is parched. Y'all gonna have to start. Okay. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Come on. Never gonna get it, 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 never gonna get it. Jelly now. Now let's get warmed up and go to the stage, because it's time. No, look, Wanda, Ooh, Wanda, Wanda, you know, it was really fun singing with you again and all, but we, we were ready to go. go. <laughs> but if you ever need anything and we can do something for you, you just ask us. But right now, we got to go yeah, rehearse. Well, what I was saying, y'all y'all should, mm -hmm, should go do that. Y'all should go. Aww. Aww. And I was going to rock somebody's world up in here. <laughs> You think if they was making all that money, they had some burr or something up in there. <laughs> Never gonna get in there. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching the show. I want to introduce a couple of people. Royal princesses, my niece Jacqueline, my niece Jennifer, my prince nephew Jonathan, my queen grandmother, Mrs. Marielle Carter, and thanks for watching the show. Good night.